All right, man, we're here back again. Let's get back to it, Shay Whitey. We're uh, we got to get back with Yo. the consistency. Uh, a lot of stuff's been going on, uh, you know, that happens in everybody's life. But uh, you know, uh, we're we're getting through it. We're gonna get back to being consistent with the Rabbit Season podcast and starting with our this, I think, episode thirteen right here, man. It's good to have this young brother. He's in town. We're going to let him tell us where he's from and all that stuff, man. But Jay Bliss, thank you for coming through, my brother. Yo, thank you so much for having me, man. I'm Jay Bliss from Brooklyn, New York. If you want to find me, you can find me anywhere. You can Google me, wherever. Just type in JBL like the speaker. Then you put an X and then SS Jay Bliss. That's right, man. <laughs> and why the uh, why the X? You know what? There were so many people with the yeah. regular <laughs> Jay Bliss, yeah. right? Like, I had put myself out professionally. Mm-hmm. And there were like a lot of other people taking my streams, like damn, like this messing up my algorithm. You know, yeah, you yeah. go hear my song, you just heard seven of the other guys' songs. Yeah. Like, nah, I ain't even doing this. You got to brand yourself. I had I had a rebrand, so that rebrand came with um, not only the logo, everything, but the quality of the work, the, the studios I go to, the amount of money I invest. That's when I took it serious. See something that um, you know, because you've been on uh, the B side show before too, so it's good to have you on this podcast because <clears throat> we can get a little more in depth and yeah, stuff, yeah. but. Um, something that struck me even on that first time, you know, we kicked it for an hour, a couple hours, whatever it was for the show. Cause you stuck around for a while chilling with Bella and, uh, you know, Erica, Ch- shout out to them, by the way. Shout yep. out to Bella, Erica Beretta is out featuring Bella, the rapper, you know, the vibes. Yeah. Dope video, by the way, brother. <laughs> yeah. Dope yeah video. We, we ran you, it on the B side. And too. get well soon to them too. They'll be back in action real hey, soon. Real um, soon. but something that struck me is the fact that, um, you do pay attention to those things. You're. You're you've educated yourself on things such as like some people w- would think in algorithms like, you know, something you can't reach when you have an itch in your back. Uh, <laughs> I can't reach my algorithm. No, but <laughs> but, uh, you know, stuff like that, bro. And, and these are things that are important to um, take into consideration being an independent artist, not only the quality of the work, but to ensure that, you know, uh, it's played the most that it can be. It gets into DJ's hands, different things right, like right. that. Where, where did that come from? Have you studied music for a while? Do you have someone older in your corner that helps you? I mean, because that, having that knowledge is priceless, man, and a lot of cats don't get it till to, it's late. To be honest, um, throughout, you know, like graduating from high school, it's like, all right, what am I going to do with my life? You uh-huh. know me? So I was like, I'm going to just do psychology. So I, I was doing my thing with that, and it was really interesting, bro, like, from that, I learned how to, like, manipulate people and how to, like, you know, read people and body language and everything. Uh, and I'm like, yo, I learned so much. I'm like, I could use this shit. Uh-huh. And I used that wherever I could. That's I made a lot of money, you feel me? Yeah, like, yeah. Just learning off body language alone, you can learn so much. Yeah, and yeah. And you know what to say, what not to say, how to act, how to react and everything, bro. So, uh, you know, but also from psychology, you learn about marketing. And there's, like, with a psychology degree, you can go into marketing and you can learn and you can really get paid, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars for, like, okay, Target. I'm going to be your psychology marketer, and these are the colors that you can use for this thing, and that aisle has to look like this, and these things need to be next to this. That's all psychology. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. You feel me? And I took one class, and I was learning that. I was like, damn, that's crazy. But, you know, I left it at that. See, and that that's like I knew it came from somewhere, man, because that's <laughs> an observation I have. But, yeah, that's very important you said because to take anything that you go through in life and just take that and utilize it to what you're doing now. But it but it makes uh, uh, so much sense, like what you're saying, even in music, like what do I wear for this video shoot or what colors do I want to pop off so right. that it stands out different than this video. Right, right, yeah, we're going to have to talk right. after the show about the front of the shop. Maybe you can give us some pointers on yeah. what we need to do. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> so change IO3 to yeah, yeah. one. Uh, no, but you know, uh, that, that stuff all plays very important in no, music, course. man. Yeah. So um, speaking on that, man, so... Right now, let, let's go ahead and talk about what it is you are pushing. You are out here right now. Um, you're about here for a week, right? Yeah, yeah. But the thing days. is, like you did last time, like you don't you didn't stop working. You're here no, for no. a for a reason. Bro, uh, I haven't, you, you're I'm every day. You've been doing something. Uh, yeah, I haven't slept like more than three hours every day. <laughs> and I and, but that's a good thing. I you haven't. sleep on the plane on the way back. Yeah, I'll sleep when I get back. Yeah, man. yeah, <laughs> you know. No, but what you've been uh, let let the people know what's what you're pushing right now and what and what you've been working on while you're here. Um, 
to be honest, when I was on my way over here, like to Cali, I had set up the plan. I want to say like three months. Like when, when we finished here in March, and I was like, yo, that was so dope. Like, yeah, yeah. I love Cali. We got to go back. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah. Like we did a song with Bella. We did a song with Dre, and they like, they, you know, they're growing and stuff. And mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, the numbers are doing good. Like, yeah, especially Cali everything's opening back up here. A lot of more shows opening, opening back up. up. I'm like, yo, Cali's where it's at, bro. Like, it's really popping. You feel me? And if people fuck with me over there, that's where we're going. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we, we made the plans. We made everything. I had plans to shoot like three or four videos out here. I had, I had different plans, but, um, you know, like, stuff happens. So, you know, my budget wasn't what I expected it to be. So I'm like, you know what? I, I'm still going to go. I don't care. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm not going to stop. I didn't get this far to stay that far. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep going. I already booked my flight. We're just going to figure it out. Uh -huh. And I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do each day, and I'm going to fill the schedule every day, morning to night. We're going to do something because I'm not in Cali all the time. Yeah. I can't be in Cali. You know what I mean? Like, I'm at work all the time. I work like six days a week. I'm working every year, sometimes seven days a week. I don't get no breaks. You feel me? Yeah, so yeah. I'm able to afford the budgets for like videos and stuff like that because I work so hard. But I'm trying to do stuff out here. You know, I can't do it from over there. Like I, I can't be on a podcast if I'm in New York. Yeah, you yeah. You feel me? I can't. You, you, you know, and that that's that mentality though is what gets artists you know a little further. It's those some people you know like they say they're afraid to get too uh, far from their comfort zone. Right. And uh, but there's no other way to grow, really. Right. And then and then what you end up finding is, like you said, man, you, you're bubbling over here, too. And sometimes, Absolutely. sometimes, which happens to a lot of artists from right here, they go somewhere else and they get more love right, right, right. Th than versus at home. Right. That's yeah. crazy. That's man. crazy. Yeah. It is. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's because, like, when you have your peers and y'all came from the same place. that And yeah. I'm like, yo, I got this freestyle. I got this video. It's like, all right, well, whatever. I could do that, too. But yeah. Yeah. It's just a little more like 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 resentment, like damn, like instead of like yo, maybe I should do it too, yo, bro, help me. It's like yo, fuck you, man, you ain't shit, whatever. That shit is whack, you know. Yeah. That's how it is. So it's like it's whatever. I understand it. I don't yeah. take any of that personal. Yeah, it is what it is. You feel me? Like yeah, I don't. I I mean, I don't think you can really. It's one of them, especially in this one of them games where you can't take too much. You know, you can't take nothing personal. Bro, yeah, really. and then not be too sensitive about yeah. it either, because this shit happens and. Yeah, people yeah. are out for themselves and all that kind of stuff but. yeah yeah hey, hey so um how how did the uh when you first you know decided to pick up a pen and um not just bus freestyles like you said but actually put uh records out and you know put albums and videos out um how did that come about did you have a crew or is that was that something you just you, nah, you went do, in your own lane i do i do everything myself as far as composing the music lyrics picking the beat you know what i mean like when i go to the engineer i have i'm like you know we record it and stuff and i like i like to work with engineers like you know if somebody just goes and they're just recording it's like all right well that's, that's kind of like that's not i could i could do that shit myself yeah i need somebody that has an ear for music that can help me through it you feel me if yeah. you probably guess i not i missed you feed off of each other yeah we feed off each yeah. other and i feel like things are growing like more organically that way and it yeah. comes out better but um yeah man i don't know like i just i just do everything like that myself and i just I just really like, you know, I smoke a couple of blunts and I write some lyrics. I'm like, all right, this is cool. But when I first took it serious, like when I rebranded, that was right that, when the that's pandemic hit. That's what you were talking hit. about. Okay. Right uh, when the pandemic hit, everything got shut down. Like the stores were closing. Like everybody was online at the supermarket. Like shit was really, really, really crazy. And Because people didn't know it was something nobody's experienced. Right. Nobody. I, I think in our lifetime, you know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah. To be like, damn, like I'm home all the time. I can't, I'm tired of being home. There's no job. There's no money. How do I survive on this much money every week? I'm yeah. like, I thrive in this shit. I've been doing this. Shit. I've been broke for years. Yeah. Fuck you <laughs> mean? We gonna we go, we go, we, we go thrive. We're gonna figure it out. Hell yeah! It's like everybody freaking out and scared. This is my fucking we territory. Got, we, <laughs> yeah, you know what? And, and shout out to our me and my brother right here, man. Our mom, I think we got that from her. She always figured out a way, my G. And even sometimes, you know. It, she would kind of hide as best she could any worry or whatever yeah, that yeah. she might have been scared but she always found a way and figured it out that uh, you dope. know if my mom could I, I mean i looked up to that so that's you know fact. i gotta do it too that's how i gotta be bro. that's like, right man so like um i don't know like that happened and i was in a bad place you know i was broke and it's like imagine if it's like i ain't, I wasn't working before yeah now yeah. the pandemic and i'm definitely not working yeah, <laughs> yeah. nobody was <laughs> yeah bro it was so bad you know i'm like damn i'm pretty sure everybody went through some kind of depression or something it was like really yeah. like bad and stuff but I um I, I took that and I was just like, you know what, let me just think about the opposite of how I'm feeling right now, you know, like I'm the man, I got I got money, I got a hundred thousand dollar car, I got girls, we in the club, we got bottles, we got this, that was in my head and I'm like, all right, so you know what, like we're gonna come back. We're rebranding, we're doing this again, like fuck all that. We tried it before, they weren't they weren't feeling it. This time we're gonna do it my way, that's it. 
So I did it half English, half Spanish. You hear the aggression on the track. Like when I, when I switch from English to Spanish, like you really can't tell that transition. You're like, what the fuck? He's he's talking Spanish now. Yeah, like it's, it's not abrupt. You're like, what the fuck? He's, like, he's talking, yeah, know, yeah, like or that. or kicking a different uh, cadence to the. You like right. it's on the same pocket type right, of right, thing. Right, right, yeah. right. Like like when I do a song, I make sure I, I ride that beat, and that I'm like I, I compliment the beat. You feel me? Like I, I make sure like it sounds good to the ear because I, I mark in my music. It's not. It's not for Brooklyn. It's not. It's not just for Cali. It's for the world. You feel me? It's for everybody here. So if you don't understand the language, you're gonna feel that vibe. Like you, the aggression that I'm talking about in the lyrics, you feel it. If like if you don't speak Spanish, you're gonna feel it. You be like, damn, he yeah. just said some shit. What the fuck? Yeah, That's yeah. crazy. I don't know what he said, but yo, that Google Translate. <laughs> Google Translate. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But the best part about that is if if you speak Spanish, I be talking some crazy fire bars, metaphors in Spanish. It is fucking sick. Like if you really know Spanish, you're in for a fucking treat because. Shit. Hey, do you do you think? Um, I mean, obviously, that part was part of the rebranding. Yeah. Why, why do you, uh, you know, because we kind of talked a little bit about this last time, but um, why did you feel um, it was that it, it was important to rep your culture like that and reach out, you know, and show your side what, what, what can be done? Because I feel like I, I'm, I, was, I, was, I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, so I love hip hop. I grew up with hip hop, and that was my influence. So... I love Big L, I love Biggie, I love Big Pun. I know the flows, I know the rhymes, that shit's memorized. Yeah. You feel me? I ain't grow up rapping in Spanish. I ain't grow up singing in Spanish. I barely grew up speaking Spanish. Uh-huh. That's what I wanted you to ask you, too. I, ba- I barely grew up speaking Spanish, but my mom speaks a lot of Spanish. So at that time, like, I, I want to say I was going back and forth between Ecuador. By myself, I got family out there. I want to say maybe like four or five years by then. You know, a couple of months here, a couple of months there, and my Spanish got better. Yeah. And I'm like, I, right, you know what? I like, I like, cause one time I did a verse in Spanish. I'm like, yo, I like that shit. That shit yeah. sounded nice. And I'm like, but you, I, I need work. I need to fix that transition. This has never been done before. Yeah, people speak a little Spanish in a verse. It's Spanglish, you know, like a little bit of Spanish here, English there. Nah, I'll give you a whole verse in English. And that shit is authentic. That shit sounds like I'm from Brooklyn. You hear the bars, you hear the shit. And when I do Spanish, you hear that shit too. It sounds like I'm from Brooklyn. You hear the bars, you hear that. But it's a different language. So I'm like... I was not, it's not that, I, yo, he's better in Spanish than English. Nah, he's nice. Yeah, in both, yeah. Sure. In both. Like, I will do a whole song in Spanish, I'll kill that shit. I will do a whole song in English, I'll kill that shit. So so you mentioned uh, in, that you're inspired, you know, like your inspirations, like Big E, Big L. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. For uh, anybody else, and also, but then the other question is, uh, what inspired uh, the style that you have now? Like, is there any, any certain artist, or is it right, just something right. that you... So back in, um, you know, right now they got like reggaeton, right? Like Bad Bunny, everybody else. Yeah. But the beginning, the origin of that, excuse me, hold on. The origin of that was that um, back in, I want to say, like, what, the early 90s? What, what, what they had was, like, um, dance hall reggae. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, Murder, She Wrote, all that. Yeah. Or like, all them yeah, dope, dope, uh, dope classic uh, reggae. El General was out. Right, uh, right, yeah. right. Boom, boom, mommy, my. And they had a different kind of right. t- Yeah, I know what you're talking but about. But that's what, I think this was a little bit before El General. Okay. And it was, like, they didn't have no producers or engineers that made Spanish reggae. That wasn't a thing. That wasn't a genre. That didn't exist. So mm-hmm. they took these reggae beats from these like these classic reggae beats with the bass line that shit was fire and they spit all spanish but now they talking some street shit you know what i mean i'm like what the fuck like yeah, all yeah. the only spanish i ever heard was like people singing and you know romantic songs and salsa and, yeah yeah and he just said some crazy shit like what the fuck i'm like okay also those from puerto rico uh-huh. they're called baby rasta and um baby rasta y gringo that's the names. And so um, when YouTube was popping, when it first like, started coming around, it was like 2001, 2002, right? Before that, you really couldn't see the videos unless you're on TV and you're watching MTV or whatever. You know what I mean? So when I saw that, I'm like, let me type this in, bro, because I remember them old school reggae things. Those shits were cool. I love them. And I saw a video. And I was like, oh, shit, they're live in concert. And he would go off like... Um, like, he's like, blang, 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 yo le doy, al que, se met, al que se mete conmigo muerte, le doy, que tenga la muerte, 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 <laughs> and he goes off for like 45 fucking seconds, que tenga la muerte, que tenga la muerte, and I'm like, what the fuck, he's not even breathing, he's fucking going in, and the other guy's doing a melody behind him, and I'm like, yo, what the fuck, <laughs> this is insane, I was like, I that was, flipped you out, that it? shit was so cool to me, yeah. I couldn't believe that that was real, and I just kept hearing the other shits and seeing things, and like, yo, these dudes are like legends, bro. By then, I already knew about Biggie and Tupac and everybody else, and I knew their catalogs and everything. You know, like, all that shit. I was already, like, well, like, 
my my hip hop history was already well established within me by then, and I'm like, this is crazy. I gotta get into this. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I never thought about rapping like that until way later. Yeah. You feel me? When I rebranded, I was like, nah, bro. Let me think about what really inspires me in Spanish. Let me think, and I went back to that. And I'm like, I'm learning the lyrics. I'm like, holy fuck! Like he don't breathe. He does not breathe, and he goes and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, boom. You know what? Let's try that. Uh -huh. Not the same way he did it, but I'm fucking going in, spitting some crazy shit. You know what I mean? Let me tiene loco. Let me tiene loco. Let me tiene loco. That that's that's one of my songs. Yeah. That came inspired from that shit. You feel me? That's so. that's that's dope to hear. And and how, uh, on the flip side of that, how's that uh, response been, bro? Because not only with the rebranding, it, it builds excitement and gets you, you know, at least. Um, E even within yourself to, to continue pushing this music because it's a hard hard work bro yeah, to yeah. do the, but um how's that response been from you know what i mean people that know and don't know spanish that's just to be honest out in new york bro it, it's difficult man it's hard uh -huh. because hip-hop if you, if you if you like hip-hop you're listening to drill you're listening to pop smoke five year four and that's what you're listening to that's a whole different sound from what i'm doing mm -hmm. you feel me i'm spitting that trap spanish shit yeah you feel me a lot of people that that really fuck with that kind of music they don't really speak too much spanish yeah. You know some Spanish, and mind you, I'm spitting some crazy fire fucking bars in Spanish. If you know yeah. Spanish, it's like, yo, this motherfucker's next. He's fire. A lot of people out there don't know Spanish. So I do shows and shit, and I'll probably be the only Spanish dude there. And I'm like, damn, half my set is Spanish. How the fuck do I get through this? And, it, and in New York, it's all a tough crowd. If you could rock a crowd in New York, bro, God bless you, because... Everybody out yeah, there, everybody that is in competition is like, yo, fuck him. I could do that same shit that, too. Nah, that, I'm better. My boy's better. Fuck that guy. See, and it's it's that part is like, I mean, it's probably a slightly different in, in the way it's conveyed or whatever. But that part I feel like is over here too. You know, a lot of times, um, you know, the artists ain't ain't really checking for any other artists. Yeah, like yeah. when they do go to shows. Yeah, yeah. Me, I was the opposite. Like I wanted to, you know, network and like like how bro. we were talking about earlier, you slap hands with with some of your peers and, you know, what I mean, they not everybody. You're not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, but that don't mean you 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 can't be in the same room and right. and uh, everybody create different music. But right. to find that lane is dope and it's gotta be satisfying. You know what I mean? I to have to. to have your own like right. So it's like imagine be, me being there and people aren't really like fucking with it. They're like, all right, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that sounds nice. So then I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Like I feel like, all right, algorithmically, right? You feel me? Yeah. In Spanish, the people that consume a lot of hip hop in the Spanish region is like hip hop, hip hop, like Spanish hip hop spitting bars is like Central America, yeah. Mexico, and like the the West Coast. They really fuck with that kind of shit. So, so algorithm, like the numbers say that. Yeah, and you and you. That's where you make sure you you yeah, you yeah, come yeah. this way and you I and you make sure your music yeah. gets out that way Hell too, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. So I'm like, you know what? Let's, this is something in Cali. Let's try it. Let's check it out. Let's see what's up. And I'm like, let me see if there's dope rappers in Cali. And I'm going. I cross and I see Bella the Rapper. I'm like, oh. Yeah. I saw the, the Breeze homie. video. I was like, yo, that shit kind of nice. I yeah. ain't going to lie. And yeah. it was like, yeah. I remember that song, the original sample. Like, the original song was like a classic. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you were already vibing to that, but she was spitting some shit. So I was like, nah, bro, she's dope. I'm going to keep my eye on her. I think she had like maybe 8,000 followers, 7,000, something like that. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, dog, her numbers went up fast. They dog. went up crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. I, and, she, and that was before she even dropped the video. It was like a preview, like coming out. I was like, damn, that's dope. I'm going to check it out. And then when it came out, I was like, oh, shit, this shit is yeah. high. I fucks with it. She, uh, and she, she, her work ethics there, and that's the thing. She was here. She was using the spot to uh, uh, rehearse yeah, for before the, the first show. couple of events. Yeah, I saw that. yeah and, and one of her, uh, man, one of the songs I hadn't quite heard all the while maybe i didn't hear it all the way or what it was called trust issues that's that that fire right fucking hard dog so bro. i was like yo you saw the video yeah no that's why I, after i did i went and went and looked they're like oh you didn't see I go, yeah it was, it was a newer song yeah, well yeah, yeah and i go shit i go hey i missed something every once in a while i missed that one i had to go check on it man. yeah i but, seen too that uh you i think you linked with someone uh somebody that's been through here we know him pretty good uh face from the mup mup clan oh for real yeah. face has been here yeah because yeah, yeah, I, I seen that when, he, when you were going to be on the beast that he's seen you on there and he commented he's like, Oh shit! He was like, oh, uh, really? I guess you, you guys had yeah, linked yeah. up before. Yeah, yeah. So, so out there, so I'm Ecuadorian. You feel me? And my parents are Ecuadorian. Those are my roots, and I'm proud of it. I'm like, fuck it, you know, because that's how my mom like suffered and did her thing, and she immigrated over here, and then my dad too. And it's like, you know, I represent that. That's that's that's, that's home. Yeah. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing like, wrong with paying homage to that's, that. That's where my blood comes from. Yeah. Me? I got my mom's tatted. I got my dad tatted. Yeah. My grandma, like, they all came from there. You feel me? So like, that's what it is. But. That's so. I didn't think there was a lot of Ecuadorian people that that rap, but bro, there are yeah. in New York. Oh, my boy Mando El Pelado, shout out to Mando. He's dope, bro. He's doing his thing in Ecuador, but he's in New York. 
we got a fire song coming out uh-huh. crazy nice but then um face also he is ecuadorian so he made he did a song with mando and then mando like brought him out and, they, and face came and did a show over there and that's where i met him you feel me i was like all right so then i think that was last week last week they came out to new york oh, and i was chilling with them and i met his whole squad and everybody so i'm like all right cool and then they were mad though showed a lot of love and everything and i'm like all right um i was landing and i was like you know what what I want to do, because, you know, the budget isn't as big. What Like, I'm trying to be creative. What the fuck can I do? Let me get a classic East Coast hip-hop beat, and let me get some fire L.A. artists to rap on that shit. I think that would be cool, because when I see, like, L.A. artists, they rap on, like, Ambitions as a Rider. There's nothing wrong with it. That shit is fire. But it's just classic Cali beats, you feel me? Like, I want to get them out their comfort zone and show that they could really do their thing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I think that would be cool as fuck. People would really want to see that. Yeah. So I'm trying to get these fire artists, you know what I mean? So I was like, as soon as I landed, I'm like, um, Face hit me up. He's like, yo, bro, you landed, you good, you need a ride over. I was like, nah, bro, I'm good, thank you, though. And I'm like, yo, you want to shoot a freestyle? Yeah. <laughs> it was like 9 p.m. He was like, all right, all right, cool. Uh, I'm, I was like, yeah, let me check into my hotel. We do that, and I'll, I'll probably be around you like around 11. Send me your address, and I'll see. And he was like, all right, cool. And I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm like, fuck, what, what, like, what kind of classic hip-hop beat would be? And realistically, like, I, I say it's a classic East Coast hip-hop beat, but really, they're just my favorite hip-hop beats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's selfish for me. They're classic I always, to I, you. <laughs> I always wanted to rap <laughs> on these fucking beats. I always know there's some beats that you always want to get on. So I was like, yo, you, you want to do Nas represent? Oh, shit. He was like, fuck yeah. I was like, I right, bet I'm writing my shit right now. Let's go. Nice. Bro. And then, yo, we shot that shit that day. I just I posted a video of me on, like, on the mic doing the thing, like, spitting my shit. If you check my page, you'll see it. I'm there with them, and Face is there, and they're all there. And we. And then two days later, we shot this shit in, um, what was the shit called? It's called Marijuana Angel's Point. It was, um, what was the name of that park? Dodger Stadium and Allegiant Park? Allegiant uh, Park. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. You could see the stadium, you could see the city, and it's like this beautiful gazebo that's all yeah, graffitied up. I was like, that's crazy. And we shot a whole video right there. We brought out the mic, the chaotic eyeball. Uh-huh. And we was just there spitting. You know, we got that video coming out soon. So shout nice. out to Faze. Nice. Hey, that, the power of, uh, you know, because uh, we, were, we were talking about that before we started, you know, live here. But um, the power of uh, networking is important. Yeah. It ain't always to, to it, it don't have to be like, like you said, an artist to get on your song. It could be the relationship you make with the engineer, like you said, or or a, or a fire producer and you know that that power of working together to create something you know that that right. everybody's going to enjoy is is that collaborative effort is one of my favorite things in music is right, that right. like working with people and seeing what the outcome is and, right. and i mean even even like th- this friday i'm hosting the man the alcoholic show it's gonna be dope man oh, everybody yeah. yeah um i'm hosting that show and uh the same thing with shows it's like a collaborative effort right it's like the artists do their thing i'm gonna keep them live and during the 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 breaks Mm -hmm. then the djs behind me and all that stuff and then the guy who promoted it the event and all that is for some all these people to get their tickets and have a good night right and go home and talk about that show i mean that to me is a i feel accomplished you know what i mean so it's it's gotta feel that way too you know you reaching out working with artists like especially that dog not even from the same like side of the map you right, know what i mean like whole different side. yeah yeah <laughs> but that's that that's that's dope that you that you reach yeah. out and work with people man yeah. so uh hey on on that note is there anybody uh you know you haven't got to to work with it i mean anybody on, on the list if you had a you know who you, if you could work with somebody um is there anybody on that list just throw it it could be any music genre um garth brooks wh- whoever you <laughs> i mean nah, i mean <laughs> So what I do is, like, I just, I try to keep myself grounded always, you feel me? I'm like, I would love to do a feature with, like, Travis Scott or whoever. Yeah. You know, I would love some shit like that. We'll definitely make some crazy, but I'm like, I'm not at that level. I can't afford that feature. That's a $55,000 feature. I can't pay right now. No, no. It's just hypothetical. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, if I wrote the check, yeah, which yeah, artist? Yeah, no. Travis Scott would be one we'll of them? probably do something with Travis. Yeah. Man. He's dope. His cadence is fire. His melody is dope. Uh-huh. I know he uses auto-tune, and a lot of people don't really fuck with it, but... Bro, there's some fucking songs that didn't go mainstream that are fire, like fire, fire. You smoke a blunt, you hear that shit, you're like, yo. Yeah. That's crazy. That, like, vibe music and shit. That's crazy, yeah. Music. Like, if you see his documentary, too, on Netflix, bro, that shit is dope. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Yo, go check I'm that I'm going to check out. it, though, because I've been wanting to, I, I need recommendations for documentaries. Bro, it, starts, it, it starts with him at his house where he grew up. And uh-huh. he's like, look, this is where I was with my brother. And it was, like, a little room, like, probably the size of this, like, square right here. Uh-huh. The carpet. 
And he's like, this is where I made this song. Like, I'm like, damn, that's fire. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, he has a picture with his grandma, and he's there with, like, the fucking $200,000 chain. He got the Aventador parked right outside. It's like a humble little house. I'm like, yo. You know what I mean? Like, even if you, like, if, if I never heard of the artist, I'm going to still check it out because those origin stories are fire. Oh, hell yeah. You know what I mean, not- I'm an artist, too. I have my own origin story, and I see a lot of similarities. I'm like, wow, that's that's just like me. That's so dope. Like, yeah. you learn a lot from that, and that's it's pretty dope. I like seeing that. You I've, me? I've always wa- loved watching docs on, right. on music artists. Hell yeah, yeah, because it's like, I guess, I guess in, if you're an artist and you're really taking this shit serious, there's a lot of sacrifices you got to make, a whole lot of sacrifices. Yeah. Like. A lot, bro. It shows a lot. you firsthand. You can't, you, you, can't, you can't have a career and be a full time fucking artist. Yeah. You can't. I'm not going to be a, a psychologist and then be like, all right, we're in the studio till eight in the morning. We're going to do this. We got a feature tomorrow. We got a video on Saturday. I'm a psychologist, bro. Hold on. Like, nah, yeah. I got a schedule. You can't do both, bro. Yeah. And yeah. like, only the only other people that would really understand that are other artists that are really taking this shit serious. You feel me? And the hardest part is taking it serious and working like you're getting paid like, like, like $50,000 a show. Like, I, I try to work like that. Like, nah, bro. Like, I keep myself like that. Like, if I'm not recording and I don't have money to record this week, I'm making five references at the house. I'm sending out features. I'm sending out emails. I'm promoting my shit. Do what you shit. can when the check hits. Then you Hell go put yeah. that. Get, be ready just, to go. These, you these know? are all just little investments that I'm putting out there. Every 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 video I do, every song I do is an opportunity to change my life. Yeah. There's a lottery tickets that I'm putting out into the world. One of them is going to pop, and when it does, all my songs look just like that one, sound just like that one, because that's my style. That's my shit. That's how I do it. And that and that's what it is a, a lot of time, man. You hit it on the head. It's like you could be working for however long, but it just takes one show or one song or to hit, catch that, you know, maybe a, a bunch of different ears, and then right. everybody goes back to check the catalogs and all that shit, right, man. Right, right, right. You know, that, that's crazy you said on, on, you know, the longevity part because, you know, it's easy for people, obviously, to be in it for the, you know, a lot of people for the likes and the – popularity of it yeah, all yeah. the contest part of it but um uh dog doing you know b-side and all that for over 10 years dog we've seen how many artists are not doing it no right, more right. And, you see who's consistent who's yeah. not you feel me and sometimes it takes i feel like sometimes people are ahead of their time oh you know that I mean? happens like, a lot, a lot of people yeah. be ahead of their time and it's like yo mm. back then like he was spitting english and spanish like and nobody was fucking with him but if he would have been out here now he would have been fucking killing shit. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Like, now's the time. The time is coming. Like, right now, it's all like, you know, hip-hop is evolving, and I feel like that English-Spanish thing is coming in heavy, and the next two years is going to change. Everything's going to change, and I'm already ahead of the curve, bro. That's my style. That, I'm thriving that shit, and in two years, I'm going to be nasty with it. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it shifted, like you said, and now it could go to the the trap, Spanish trap, and then different uh, genres and, and, and sways of the music and right. shit because it went away. You know, I wasn't necessarily a, a fan of the whole reggaeton right, type right, right. shit, but I'm, don't get me wrong. There's some stuff I like. Right. I'm not, I'm never a hate. I always keep an open ear, right, but, right. but, um, it just wasn't my favorite thing. But Listen, now if, I if, like if, some if, of that. No, I like yeah, the fucking, the, 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 new the shit, yeah. yeah, the, the slow temp, tempo with the grimy mm-hmm. shit, but in Spanish, you know what oh, I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That Spanish trap shit. But I'm telling you, if you listen to Baby Rasta y Gringo from the 90s, You'll fuck with that shit. You'll be like, damn, I'm going to learn Spanish. Yeah, Please right. Fuck that. I have to. See, I know enough. I, I still know enough to get by. Like, I'll know a lot uh, in a song sometimes, but I'll be like, damn, I missed a couple words. Like, right, I, right. I lost them right there. But but still, to me, like you said, you don't always need to even know it because right. dog, the way they just sway and flip to the beat and ride the it's beat like, yeah, fucking like, different style, dog, is dope. Yeah, like, but then you got both of it because you're ch- also trying to um, – speak to the ones that are that are really fluent because you're kicking right. the metaphors and the right. something someone else might so not you catch can't, if you're you not can't, you uh, can't slip up bro you really can't slip up you got to give it everything you got so it's so when i make a song it's twice the work bro if i could do a song in all english that's easy let's go let's do it but now i gotta do a whole verse in spanish not only that but that gotta make sense of what the song is about it has to have the same aggression of what I just said before, mm-hmm. and I have to like really put it together. But you're challenging your br- your own brain I have too, to, though. Bro. Yeah, it's the only way keeps you in that spot. I like huh? I don't know for some reason I like I like things being keep difficult. your yeah. keep the uh, sword sharpened, man. Right, you right, know what I mean? Right, yeah, right. dog. That, that, when you don't like, yeah, I we've talked about this the other day. Sometimes like even challenging yourself as far as vices. Like I've, you know, yeah, I'm drinking a beer right now, but I've just quit just to quit just to show myself whatever smoke whatever oh, yeah. and sometimes you know you just got to do that 
uh, you know, showing your, your mind is strong enough to do that. But but speaking of that, because it kind of leads, you, you kind of touched on it a little earlier, but I, I wanted to ask, like, you know, you kind of flip the switch in your own mind during that downtime, man. Everybody was going through their shit, and yeah. I was going to ask that kind of like, how did you, um, you know, come out that and, and, and um, continue to be productive? But keep that uh, that yeah. positive mindset. Cause, it's, it's hard, bro. Because, uh, yeah. I, like I told you, I was like, yo, I want a $100,000 car. I want this. I want that. And that was like in my head. And it's like, that was not my case. You feel me? Like yeah. my car, I think my car got like towed or something like that. And I was like, I had no <laughs> money that week. Yeah. And I had like, I ain't even had money to buy weed or nothing. Just yeah. at least like, you know, just to chill. That's I the worst. Do that. I was just like, a little fuck, medicine man. at least. That shit was bad, bro. Yeah. Bad yeah. like that for a little while. And I was like, nah. So this is when I, you know what I can do? I can't, I can't go out and shoot videos. I can't go to the studio. But you know what I can do? I can make references. I can hear beats. I can listen. I, I can put in the work. So I'm going to do this. And I know at one point it's going to change. I'm going to be able to afford what I, what I need to afford. I was like, I'm going to be able to do whatever I could do. But right now I got I to gotta put this. I got I to gotta make the music. This is it. I got I to gotta fill it. I got to make all that. And then that's when I can work on all that stuff. So I made like two, three, four, five, six songs. That they like pandemic songs. And I was really going in. Them shits are fire. And then I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to get whatever job I could get. The only shit hiring a delivery driver is fuck it. I drove for like a pizzeria, bro, like 12 p.m. to 3 a.m. every day. People give you like a dollar tip. I'm like, really, bro? Like, yeah. I just drove 20 minutes. You don't give me a dollar. They don't yeah. even pay me for gas here. They pay me like $6 an hour. Yeah. Bro, I was killing myself nonstop shifts. I don't care because I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do this video. I'm going to do it. And then I Invest did it. Invest in yourself. And then I did it. Mm -hmm. And the response was regular. Like, all right. So you know how this courage in that shit is? Oh, yeah. Fuck. yeah. But I said, you know what? Fuck that. I don't care because you know what? My audience hasn't found me. When my audience finds me, they're going to be like, yo, this motherfucker really got it. So I said, we're going to make another video. I don't care. Next month, I got a budget, a budget together. We made another video. This time we had, um, you know how Marshmallow the DJ has the helmet? Oh, There's yeah. a guy that professionally makes them. They're like $1,500, $2,000 each. I said, yo, bro, I can't buy them. But you know what? If you're down to collab, let's work. And I'll, I'll rent them off. You bring me like seven. I'll, put, I'll bring seven girls. They all have these five emoji helmets. It'll look dope. It'll look, it's, it catches the eye. Yeah. It's visually stimulating. He's like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. We agreed on the price. And he came. Shout out to Rave Helmets, Inc. His shit is fire. If you want a helmet, he could make a B-side helmet. He'll do the whole logo. His, he's sick. He was like, bro, you lucky you called me because I just got an offer from MTV. And they, they switched their week, but I could do it that day. I'm like, Dang. I'm like, all right, he's f I'm like, fuck. All right, that's crazy. But I'm like, yeah, bro, that sounds good. Okay. I so wanna, we did it. Want to get the shit emoji helmet? Oh <laughs> yeah, he had the, he had the shit emoji helmet. It's, it's like it's a brown or, helmet. Or the one throwing up, the uh, green one. We got that one too, yeah, bro. Yeah, so the one dope. I used for that one, the song is called Henny Two. If you look up Henny Two, it's dope, bro. Um, I had the the the, the green emoji helmet, and it had a big blunt in the mouth, smoke going up. The eyes are red. It's fire. Oh, the dope. other one was like sick, throwing up. The other one was like drunk. <laughs> it was cool, bro. So I was like, fuck it. I did it. And people were like, yo, you're fucking crazy. That shit is dope. I'm like, come on, bro. Yeah. So that's when people were like, wow, he's really fucking doing it. I was like, I ain't fucking done. We're shooting another video in two more weeks. People were like, yo, you're fucking crazy. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I don't care. Not only like, um, it's almost like that, uh, that discouragement. I mean, because I feel you on that. It almost pushes you harder. Like, all right. right. I'm going to show you guys like, because then fuck, well, yeah. I'm going to bring you guys back around. Watch when people, like you said, when you find that that main wave of fans, then these other cats going to come back and go, oh, oh yeah, I used to support him back in the, you know, they, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. oh, I remember him back in the day. I used to get all this shit. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. All of a sudden, here comes everybody that knows you and shit. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's that's a fact. crazy. I remember everybody that was really there and supporting yeah. me and holding me down. And it's yeah. not just like, oh, I bought your shit. It's like. Yo, bro, you good? Let's let's go out for a drink. Let's see if yeah. you good. What's up? Talk to me. What's going on? And it's like, I get sometimes I get so involved in the music and I'm in it and I'm like, fuck, man, I'm writing this song, that song, and this person I pay for a feature and he's not responding. And the, this videographer was acting like this and that photographer was acting like that. And I'm like, it's so discouraging. It's like you deal with that shit by yourself, bro. But on the flip side of that, see, because I'm guilty of that too, man. I'm a, you know, I feel like after ten years, like uh, the B side still hasn't reached who we need to reach because. I feel like, um, yeah, like you said, there's a lot of a lot of these, a lot of resentment. A lot of the artists that came on our show before are now doing like now they're hosting shows. So now, right. you know, they probably don't want to show that they used to come here and be interviewed by me or whatever. You know, there's all kinds yeah, of things yeah, that yeah, yeah. that play into it. But um, it's on the flip side of that. It's like instead of thinking about that, because my brother, he like we're kind of opposite in that way, and he helps me there because it's like 
okay, those people ain't fucking with, but what about these ones? And like you said, right. the dude with the helmets. Yeah. Like, you, you took a chance, reached out, and look what happened, and that's He's, the thing. Yeah. So we we got to, like, myself included, because I, I, I hear it when you say it, and it's like, we got to concentrate on the ones who do fuck with us. Yeah. And we'll work from there, that's you know what fact. I mean? Yeah. <laughs> For anybody that, that's thinking about, like, making music and doing videos, like, yo, I'm going to take it serious, do it. Like, bro, it's not, it's not, you do four videos, and that's a lot. Four videos is, like, what, 3000 a video? You just put $12,000 in. Yeah. You ain't nothing going to happen for you, bro. Yeah. Nothing's going to happen. Like I said, these are lottery tickets, but these are, like, big lottery tickets. You feel me? If one of those slap, everybody's going to, I'm lighting, like, I light one match, the whole shit is going to go on fire. Yeah, and then that building, the, and then it's all part of catalog, too, That's man. That's a fact. So I'm like, you know what? I just kept doing it. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to keep doing it, doing it, doing it. People are like, all right, you need to relax because now you're just exhausting yourself. You're killing yourself. You keep working. You keep doing videos, and nothing's happening. Nothing's happened for you so far. You need to chill out. You got priorities. You got other shit you got to pay. You got bills. You're in debt. You need to do this. I said, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Because you know what? I'm building up a fucking catalog. And when they, when, when Rolling Loud is like, yo, bro, we like your shit. We want you to perform. What I'm going to do? Three songs that I did because I'm listening to everybody. Fuck you. I got 15 videos, bro. Yeah. I got visuals. I got dancers. <laughs> I bring the helmet guy. I bring everything. Well, I got how many merch. songs you let me do, man? Right. I got plenty. I'll tell them. Nah, I told them. I've been harassing them. I'm like, yo, bro, it's like, oh, yeah. um, what, what artist should we tap in with? I'm like, bro, I got a 45-minute set. I got dancers. I got graphics. I got everything ready. I got lasers. I got pyrotechnics. You let me know. Let me talk to the things, and I'll do it. I'll get it ready, bro. Even if you want, I'll pay. What's up? Let me know what's up with the prices. I don't care. Mm -hmm. You feel me? That, that, that's how I am. I don't care. Because I know once I get on that stage, oh, I just need the opportunity to get on there. And if I'm on there, bro, all I need is that opportunity, bro. That's it. You don't know who's in the crowd. You don't know who's watching, who's listening. You probably get an investor that'll be like, yo, bro, I'm going to give you, yeah. you know what, 500000 I believe in you. That shit was crazy. Let's go. Yeah. You never know, bro. Hey, I, I, man, I feel you heavy on that, brother, because, you know, even, like, I'm not one of them, like, type of hosts. We've been doing it a cool minute, man. I got yeah. a lot of interviews under my belt, man. I, I've been in this music thing for a long time, too. And I know personally what I'm up. I'm just not one of the ones that goes around telling everybody, like, what they should know about me like if right. you got a big you know if you haven't learned yet you ain't too interested anyway right. so but um it's that that thing that i know like this friday like i know when i get on that stage to host like there ain't too many motherfuckers that could host like me dog right. and i'm saying it dog you but i'm but i don't gotta bro. go around and tell everybody that but right. i know when i get on that stage I'm up there with some of the the good ones, bro, and right. I I feel that way, and I'm I'm glad you said you that, need to man. Hold it down. And that's how I I think you should be though when you're any art form, bro. It has sports, to be. whatever, anything you yeah. have to because you know what? If you're gonna be successful, you need to you, your mentality like legit, like seriously, like for real, for real. Like in my head, I'm already a millionaire, bro. Like, yeah. for real, yeah. I'm not. I'm so far from that, bro. I just spent a budget that I didn't even have here in California. I got to deal with the consequences when I go get back. back. Yeah, yeah, no. But you know what? I've been tonight, doing that all my life. But you know what? Tonight, I'm shooting a video with Yellow Hill with the nice. same videographer that shot Trust Issues. Oh, shit. You feel me? Like, uh, I'm doing shit that ain't nobody really putting together. Like, I don't give a fuck. It, it is what it is. If I'm in debt, I'm in debt. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care because I know that if that shit hits, the yeah. video I'm recording today, if that shit hits, bro, yeah, that's, that's going like to change a, everything in my life. Chess moves. Man. I like how you said that too. Uh, you called it a lottery ticket, yeah. but um, but you know, you could also look like almost like a stock or a bond because you know, like, what if like you know, maybe it doesn't catch on right away, but what if like yeah. a year, two years from now, Hell after yeah. they've discovered you, then they go back and see that and they go, Hell oh yeah. shit, what did Hell I? Yeah. Well, you know what I mean. You know, kind of, kind of like what what we were talking about with like uh, you know, even Vel the Wonder who's been on our show bro, she's years dope back. As yeah, fuck. we talked Vel about it. Dope ass artist, bro, and and the thing like. We had her back here, and I know now that she she built her following big by herself too. Yeah. And um, the thing is, I know, well, we know because the views, but they go back and check for some of her original shit. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. We got her on a video performing here at the show. I mean, I want to say about seven years, maybe yeah, six, seven. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, I did the B show here, right? And then I was like looking through the B show. I'm I'm, I'm trying to see what, like what other shows y'all got, and I see the other one. I'm like, no way. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, bro, I was just thinking about getting her on a feature, man, but I don't know what that feature. Your price looking like fuck it. Yeah, it is what, what it is. belly? What is it? Holla at us. <laughs> yeah. We we but need I, to know what that fee. Give me the uh neighbor discount for the homie right here. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Yo, nah for like like when I ask for a feature, I really I hate I, I don't ask for this. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, nah, that's for, corny. You know why though? You know nah, why? Yeah. Because it's like if somebody sets their price, that's their price. Yeah. 
And I'm like, yo, can I pay half? They're like, all right, bro, really? Like, they, like they put they, if if I tell you my price is like ten thousand, that's how much I value myself. Yeah. If you're telling me you want to pay me four thousand, you don't value what I do. Yeah. So why the fuck would I work with you when I got thirty other people that are ready to give me ten thousand? Can I pay, yeah. can I pay you half and give me eight bars instead of sixteen? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, I don't do that. Like, hey, but you know what? Can you hum the last two bars? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you know what? I probably do definitely because that, that that's that's hard to get, bro. If the budget, let's say, our feature is like three thousand dollars. That's a lot of money, bro, to come up with. Like, I'll be like, yo, bro, you know what? I'll g- If it's cool with you, I would love to do this with you. I got a song in mind. I'll e- I'm going to email it to you right now. I'll send you, like, 800 right now so you know I'm serious. It's a deposit. You feel me? And you and you can record it, do whatever. You don't have, you don't even have to send me the song back until I pay you fully. Don't even give me shit. Then they know you're serious. I, yeah, I'll pay you little by little. It's like, damn, he's giving me money for nothing. I'm yeah. like, well, you know, I'm taking this shit for real. Yeah, it's you an investment I mean? in But I yourself. know I know that I already gave you a deposit. I know I'm going to get that song. Yeah. Whenever it happens, it happens. When it's meant to be, it's going to happen. And, it, and you know, that's it. Like all part of, like the, like we were saying, investing in yourself, man. Absolutely. You got to yeah. believe in it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and just to tail out that we're going to get into the rabbit fire round in a sec we just ask a few <laughs> quick questions but um you know i wanted to say all that ties in to make your point even more you were mentioning the the group from puerto rico give me their names one more because i'm gonna go check them man. baby rasta like uh-huh. baby rasta yeah baby rasta and gringo okay i'm gonna check them but it, it's the thing and building that catalog and then sometimes people might not catch it right away but see now it's to the point in music where, so, you know, people have choices, a lot of choices now. You don't just, you can't just only turn on the radio or, yeah. you know what I mean? So you people go and they do research for stuff. They let, and then they'll go back and find these artists that were killing it in the 90s. and the, But they'll still be listening to their shit yeah. and copping stuff from them. And that, that's the power. Shit. Yeah, there are Some people that may not have been born or been, maybe they, right. they weren't around at and the they time. they like rediscover this yeah. whole like exactly, fucking movement. Doug. It's like, wow. The power of music, entertainment in general. Because it's the same with like movies and Hell books. Yeah. Like people Hell read yeah. books from the t- fucking yeah. 20s and 1800s. But you know what else is crazy? I feel like the attention span now is oh, so yeah. low oh, that sure. people get bored easily. They're like, yeah. I, already saw, I already heard that song. That's facts. Times. I want to hear another one. Let me hear a different one. Yeah. And if you don't have enough shit for them to click on, they're going to stop listening to your shit. They're going to type in a new name. You yeah. go to my YouTube, you keep clicking. It will be four hours before you I got plenty. I got plenty for shit, you. Know, That's how yeah. we feel about the show, man. You want to check check it out? I got plenty for yeah, you to yeah, check. We got yeah. everything here for you. Like, whatever you want. We yeah. got, got it all. Hey, uh, oh, just real, I had a, just a quick question. Uh-huh. So I, I know you were talking earlier about how you're always, um, you know, basically you're always working. You're yeah, working yeah. or you're, you're doing something with music. Uh, creating or planning is there any like when you have like a little bit of time to yourself like what is, do you like to do anything else is there anything you're into like video games or movies or um, books or anything like that or are you just constantly just on the grind i'll play i'll play some video games and shit you feel me here and there you know like I end up, you know what happened in the pandemic yeah you know, everybody was home and Especially. it was like we legit would be like yo we, 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 we gonna get on it's like fuck we'll it. we ain't doing right? shit we ain't doing nothing Everybody, everybody's legit scared to go outside and it's a, and it wasn't that was an, i'm gonna give it to like i ain't in uh, Doug, I fix video games, yeah, but yeah. I don't like to play them because yeah, yeah. I feel like I get stuck too long and I don't right, do shit, right, right. right? So I haven't played them in years and years, but I give it to to gamers and shit. At least that was a way to still uh, uh, feel almost like you were socializing right. with people, too. Oh, yeah, too. for sure. Like, you would get like, on that's the some mic, real like, shit. Like, you would yeah. get on the headphones with your friends and y'all just talk shit and You just need play. that sometimes, yeah, yeah, That shit's <laughs> pretty dope. So we get online from like 6 p.m. to like 3 a.m. And it's like, holy fuck, we've been doing this shit all Where day. Where the time goes. Fuck. Right. <laughs> but I still be working. I wake up at 9 a.m. and write music until like 12 p.m., 1 p.m. And then fuck it, we ain't doing shit. We're getting online. Like, all right, let's do it. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, every now and then I'll get on and I'll play a little bit here and there, you know, just to like, all right, I need a break, bro. I've been writing too long. I've been hearing this beat too many times. My head is Yeah, ready. you got to clear need your head. Break. Yeah. For me, I, it, it's crazy. Like, for me, I, I mean, it's partly of me just getting older, too, like an old man thing. But... I fucking got into like I, I was doing like planting little plants and little trees at oh, my yeah. crib, the dog. Like, fuck, fuck dog. I have like a gang of new plants I've already planted and little tree. I, man, I, you know, fucking dog ripped out my oh. baby avocado <laughs> tree, but uh, but I <laughs> but I had uh, you know what I mean like. Uh, that was my kind of therapy. I would yeah. play some music. Be in my I got my garage everything hooked up. You Smoke know, some weed. Yeah, blaze Smoke a little, and then I'll go out and like plant trees did you have any weed plants that you grew oh yeah that's i still got one in the works right now (laughs) the buds are the buds are coming that's something you say no matter what you're about to do 
So smoke flowers. some weed, watch a movie, smoke some weed, get some, yeah. smoke That's some dope. Weed. marijuana. Oh yeah, <laughs> and, no, it make it, it makes things it, it, a little. It enhances it yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. At least in it, my opinion, it does. I yeah. feel like it does. Really, you know. Let's go into the uh, the rabbit fire round. This is just where we ask a few quick questions, like to tail end uh, tail end of the show, but. Uh man, uh, it's been fun so far. We we talked about a lot of like real shit, like yeah, bro. music stuff, dog. Like yeah, and yeah. coming from, you know, a, a younger artist as yourself, that's refreshing for me to hear. Cause yeah, you know yeah. everybody, I feel like a lot of the times it is for the popularity contest, and they're not, um, like you like you're doing. You you take the time to learn yeah, the, the business diligence. side. Yeah, the to. the business side. Not only that, but the producers you're working with, the artists you want to work with. Yeah, let me the, tell you, like marketing. I'm working, I'm working with Darren Vegas. He was on fucking Death Row, dude. Yeah. Like he really has like platinum fucking records. Uh-huh. He's on the Billboard charts, and I was I had the opportunity. I hit him up like, bro, anybody listening for real, just send that message but always you gotta you gotta always offer something you feel me like always give something don't expect people to do shit for free because especially big people they bust they ass to get there they work hard to get there and they're gonna give shit for and, free. And, oh, and yeah. most of, i was gonna say and most of the time they weren't giving something for free right. so why the fuck you know but it's, it's not even that because you know me like like i can't i remember the times i hit people up and they, they would ignore me but i'm like i have too many people that want to pay me and want to do shit and i have too many plans and projects for me to do something for free i don't have the time right now you know what I mean? I really don't. I would love to work with somebody and, you know, help them out, but I can't. Yeah. I really can't. There's only so many hours in a day, and I have 20 songs that I want to do. I don't got time to be working on somebody else's dream. I'm still doing mine. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? So it's like it's like that, bro. Well, and especially, know. like, yeah, like, they don't even take it, you serious enough to pay you for your time or, yeah. or think they don't have to. Yeah, you know but I mean? I'm telling you, send out those messages and be like, you know, if you know you really can't afford it, just, just be honest with them. Be like, look, I really can't, but... This is me. This is what I do. I like. I tell them I bust my ass. I work hard. These are my visuals. These are my songs. These are my links. This is my shit. Everything looks professional. Super respectful. Super humble. And it's like I give out good vibes. If you give out good vibes, you most likely get it back. Worst worst case, you get left on scene. <laughs> Fuck it. Who, who cares? Yeah, yeah. Don't it didn't matter, it bro. didn't hurt nobody. And you bro, you know you put it out in the atmosphere. If you don't put it out in the atmosphere, ain't nothing gonna ever happen anyways. Bro, we put flipped, it out there, man. We fucking flipped the mob deep quiet storm uh, shit. track. We flipped that shit. Made that shit a little like. You know, some like like a thong type vibe, like some club shit, like you know, nice little like, right? I know it sounds weird, but trust me, we fucking killed that shit. And I got we, picture. I'm, we th- I'm listening in my it. head right I now. I say we like <laughs> I did something. Darren didn't sample it. Darren went back and found the original baseline, mm-hmm. the original baseline that they sampled. He went back and we yo everything was from scratch, and this shit happened before my eyes. I'm like, what the fuck? I love Mob Deep. Quiet Storm is one of my favorite songs. This shit is happening in front of me. I'm like, whoa. Here's an opportunity to really, really, really be a part of something big. If I do this shit right, I remake this Quiet Storm shit, I put Spanish on it, that's history that I'm creating right now with somebody that's done it already. That beats hard. Bro, we took videos and shit, and it just felt special. I'm like, fuck, dude, I'm so blessed. Like, like I told you, that collaborative effort feels uh, amazing. Oh, to watch bro. them creating, yeah. and then you get to put your creation on top of that. Bro, and... I was like, I was in shock, and I'm just like, wow. this like I'm so blessed, bro. That's so good. Like Shout, shout out to, man, everybody out there doing their music thing, right, for real. Man, man it's, a, it's, a, it's a grind. He, he, like, he couldn't smell it, huh? Look at him. <laughs> hey, all right, we'll get in the rabbit fire round real quick, Let's man. These it, are just man. some quick shit. Uh, Little Kim or Foxy Brown? These I are all fuck. random. We do. I fucks with Lil Kim, but I love Foxy Brown. I, but I, but I, if I gotta pick, I'll do Lil Kim because you know she got the history with Biggie, but Foxy Brown got the history with Jay Z. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? But fuck, uh, oh, and even Lil more so. Yeah, yeah, I remember back in the day, like uh, it was crazy. Like her and uh, Corrupt were like a fucking couple back in the oh day. yeah i remember that Ooh. foxy brown up yeah, For real? Fox, yeah oh yeah dog in the yo, 90s yo. that's why i gotta do relationship history research that's what i gotta do i gotta I see only who remember I that back then because oh yo dude this that's, is one of the things that inspired me though but when they like when they had like you know the friday night flavors and the wake up shows on the west side radios like these are things um you might not be that's radio on this side though that was bringing the dope hip-hop people people were going and freestyle on the shows and you get exclusive type shit right and those were like that's one of the that's one of the things that you know kind of inspires me as far as B side too is is that like just having people come do freestyles sometimes or oh, or, yeah. or we'll have an artist meets another artist they end up working together doing yeah, songs yeah. and it's shit that authentic and that uh, 
organic feeling for yeah, me yeah, is great, yo, right? Shout out to Kiki Smooth. I met Kiki Smooth last time I was here on the beach. Oh, side. that's the homie. Yeah. So I was trying to do a freestyle, but our schedules they just didn't like line oh, up because yeah, I was yeah. doing so much, bro. Like I was doing so much, I just we couldn't do it. But we gonna we gonna work on some shit. We we got some shit. Oh, we, that's we gonna dope. work together. That's I'm right. Yeah, something. that's dope. That yeah. Every time there's always networking going on here, yeah, and that's yeah, that's what's up. Sure. I also spoke with um with Gutter. Got a gun. I don't know if y'all heard of him, oh, bro. Yeah, I think he might be coming. Yeah, to yo, bring yo, bring got a gun on here, bro. Cause got a gun got some shit. And uh, got a gun is fire, bro. Shout out to the homie. We'll probably see him soon. And and you know, and back in those days, like you would get rare shit. Like I remember that was just random off top, but uh, corrupt and uh, Foxy show up to one of the stations and just. They they came from another event and then they Damn. came in like exclusive interview with the radio. It was just cool. That Those days dope. were cool because of that. Like you would just get random off fly like right, exclusive shit if you were tuned in that because night. Because I feel like back then, like you couldn't just get on Instagram live and say, "Yo, we here." Like nah. you gotta go oh, live yeah. on the air. And they be really like, Yo, went we in. Here. Yeah, Yo, we here. What's up? They really went to that the station. Like, hey, correct me if I'm wrong though. I think uh, about that same story with um, I I think. That, I think that's where that whole thing came with, uh, you know, rest in peace DMX. But I think that might be what spawned that song that Corrupt did when he came out and dissed DMX. Uh, was it calling out names or whatever? Yeah, I oh, believe yeah. something to I do. I think they did a song or something. Something like, like yeah. that. Like, And I think it was right after he Some broke up with Some hip-hop history. Brown. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. I remember I, that. I, I don't know. That one's tough for me, too, because they both have some hard-ass songs, in my opinion. I kind of sway Foxy on that one. I don't know. You answered this. Yeah, well, some of these are repeats. We just go through. Like, I, I mean, I think altogether, like, from the whole catalog, I say Foxy, but, like, there's certain things that a Little Kim did that, I, like, like, like you were just talking about Quiet Storm, that remix. Ooh. She, like that, that's like my favorite oh, like, dude. verse she's ever done. She, she sounded hard. Verse, yeah, she sounded hard on that Quiet oh, Storm remix. You know remix. what? Like, I gotta hard. give it a little Kim dog. I just random, but that put your lighters up. That song yeah, is hard yeah, as yeah, fuck to me, bro. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that, bro, that there Brooklyn, you go. That's, that that's hometown shit. man for you. Hey, okay, let's go to the next one, man. Uh, 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 uh here, what do I got here? Oh, top three if you have them. Uh, favorite actors of all time. Damn. You don't have to be in top three order, but just, you know. Damn, you threw me Three oh, of them. Bro, I got a few. I can throw my Shay, you, yours, you've said yours. Oh, yeah, I've said it before, but like. Um, Shay's is like uh, it, Anthony. No, is it Michael, Fo Michael J. Fox? <laughs> <laughs> no. Anthony Michael Hall? No. Yeah, no. And Michael J. Fox. No, one of them, like, uh, it comes to my mind, like, it's just, and it's only because, I don't know if he's, like, the greatest actor, but to me, like, every single movie he's, he's in is dope, and he's a good uh, action uh, movie guy is, is Bruce Willis. Like, dude, like every movie he's in, I don't think I've ever seen a movie he's I'm in like, that, that wasn't Willis, good. So. Please don't, <laughs> don't kill us. <laughs> uh, for real, so that's one of them. Uh, I got uh, okay. Mine off top. I don't wait. The third one is debatable, but I, for sure I, I throw Jack Nicholson in there. Sean Penn, dog. He's for me. He's oh. a fucking. He to me, he's a genius actor. And then fuck, I got to think of my third. I'm even thrown off now. I got to think of my third one. You got any? Right, I got something. Yeah. I know <laughs> Joe Pesci is so uh, underrated, uh, bro. He, okay, I'll give you that he, he, is is under, he is underrated. He is fucking yeah. fire. Like, there's no whack Joe Pesci movie, bro. Like, no, even, he could do comedy. comedy yeah, bro, I'm that's like, true. Bro. But if you see Casino, Joe Pesci scares the shit out of you, man. Like, this little motherfucker just stabbed him in the neck with a pen. And he laughed. I'm like, damn, he's fucking crazy. But you, he really made you believe that. You feel me? So I don't know. I even, guess even when he got taken, that was a gruesome scene when they got taken out. Him and his brother. Oh, with the when, bats when and they shit? buried him alive, Hell he was still yeah. alive, dog. That shit that was, was crazy. Wow, I, I was like, whoa. <laughs> So that in the vice grip scene fucked and, me up. And then he could also scare the shit out of a little kid watching Home Alone. Remember, <laughs> he's about to rob your house. Remember. <laughs> That, that's crazy, bro. I say Al Pacino. Uh, Al Pacino. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Al Pacino's movies are fucking dope. What was the one that like? I mean, obviously, Scarface is classic as yeah, shit. Dude, yeah, he yeah. just transformed. He literally got the man. I don't know if you, like, I'm not saying all Cuban, you know, talk like that, but I've met a few, and he even got some of the mannerisms in which they talk, and like yeah. the, the, the facial. It's just crazy. Yeah, like yeah, he yeah. literally studied that shit. Research, yeah, bro. and I and I remember seeing him in an interview so long ago, but talking about like he literally went in and learned from like. He went and fucking learned his shit. But not only Scarface, uh, that's obvious, but uh, I think it was uh, Scent of a Woman. 
Is that what oh, it was that's called? A, that's Marijuana. a great movie. I bro, said, well, dog, I, I, thought he, that movie I thought he did a, I mean, yeah. I, that movie, he did a great job, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't think he got whack movies. Yeah, bro. I don't think he does either, dog. I don't think dog. he does, man. What's his name's up there, too, man? I don't know. If, like, Chris Rock? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what, no. Hey, he did a serious movie, Jack though, recently. Jack Black. <laughs> Nacho Libre. No, uh, no I was going to say, uh, <laughs> no, you know who's up there? <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you ever trip out in, in that movie too? He got the mannerisms down too, with the character, the way he talked, and the the, the man, well, just his mannerisms. Right. No, That's but uh, acting, I though. was gonna say who's up there though is also uh, Robert De Niro has got to be mentioned in the yeah. top. Oh, yeah, like, Robert yeah, De Niro, sure. he's, he's up sick, there, bro. bro. And Denzel Washington for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah you don't really, especially his action shit, Fuck. bro. Action Denzel Washington. Yeah. You know, no. what? I, now crazy. I'm debating on my top three. Like I know those two for sure, but I'm my third. You know who else I like is movies though dog and i don't know i actually he he is a good actor sometimes maybe overacts but tom cruise he's known for his action movies action now star, yeah. but bro he was in on that, that one was that fourth of july uh born on the fourth of july born on the fourth of july he played uh, like a vietnam vet and vanilla a sky was good too. Van- uh that and then uh uh fuck a uh, few good men a few good men that yeah, was good. yeah yeah, yeah i think uh, and a lot of the actors that you guys uh, we all mentioned right now are, are ones where, where like if a new movie comes out and it says they're in it, it's like, oh, I'm gonna go see it. There, bro, it doesn't it really matter what it's about. Like, oh, he's in it. Let out. me go see it. Hell yeah, that's a classic, bro. Yeah. But I, feel I don't like... know. I was gonna crack my my third one now. I mean, <laughs> so now I don't even know. I'm throwing off. No, because there's a lot of new uh, actors too. Like uh, like uh, Christian Bale always ha- like dog oh, does yeah, a good yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, dog, yeah, there's yeah. some of these fucking dudes. Man. Oh, like what are they method actors that go all out for roles? Like he lost like a yeah. gang of weight for one movie. Hell like yeah. almost like. Almost Joaquin like Phoenix has done that before too. Like yeah. they totally transformed themselves to get in a role. Like yeah, even Jim Carrey, dog. He's like, oh fucking, yeah, Jim Carrey. He could get into sick, some bro. Jim Carrey's fucking shit. do drama. You you know him for his comedy, but he can do drama and all kind. Man, he's oh, crazy, yeah. dog. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see what it was. Oh, this is one we brought up quite often, and it's been heard before. But uh, uh, liquid swords are uh, only built for Cuban links. Hey, that's a tough one too. Hey. You got which one you like better out of that? Those two. Liquid swords are only for Cuba. Yeah, Rayquan. uh, yeah, the Ray, uh, Rayquan. Rayquan or, or, or Jizza. I feel like Liquid Swords is fire. That's a classic no. fucking. Like, They're both fire, but I, I lean Liquid that Swords. Shit more, you feel me? Liquid Swords. That shit comes on. I was like, all right, bro. I feel like rapping right now. You I, know I, I mean? lean towards Liquid Swords, bro, because we, we were bumping that shit for like a whole summer or some shit back in the day, dog. Bro. So. Yeah, oh, so yeah. That, hey, that was mine you too. got any on this? I got like one. Oh, just some quick ones. Uh, Marvel or DC. Which universe? Yeah, we don't have to go with like Marvel, bro, because Marvel got the fire yeah, movies. But sure. more than that, like I feel like Marvel got like the fire comics. The comics, yeah. The comics, even dope, before bro. the movies, I'm the same. Like, I think their you know. their catalog and their catalog and lineup is probably better. But I know some of the DC movies are pretty. D- dope, yeah, I think too. DC yeah, mainly yeah. is because of Batman, though. Like yeah. bat, everybody loves Batman, Batman so he's DC. Batman carries that well, series, bro. it yeah. seems like movie wise though they tend maybe they're they go a little darker. It seems yeah. maybe the Suicide Squad actually looks pretty good. I kind of do want to see that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then how about uh, Italian food or Mexican food? Um, I feel I keep Mexican food whenever, bro, because they got good variety. Italian, you got to be in the mood for that. You feel me? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm only gonna eat noodles so many days a week. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah, Obviously, they got more stuff than that. You know what I mean? But it's them like pastas be filling you. Pastas up. Pastas be fire though. Them pastas oh, be fire. Oh yeah, they fill you up. Them yeah. pastas Wait. be fire. The cannolis be good as fuck. Oh, I ain't yeah. gonna lie, they got some crazy. I like sandwiches. like raviolis and shit. Hell yeah, there. I love this. Like, the, the Alfredo the, with the with the, the chicken in the it. The cold cuts they use the prosciutto. They oh, be yeah. doing the salami. They be using that. And I got I got just one more. I got one more since we were talking about the video game, um, PlayStation or Xbox. Which one you you mess with? Oh man, we PlayStation gang out here. Oh, all right. Uh, yeah. I don't really, I don't really play that much. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I'm bored, I got 20 minutes to kill. Fuck it, let's play. Let's play some Fortnite. You feel me? Yeah. Some stupid shit like I whatever. Got, that's one of my projects too. I got, but I got the old school ones in my garage. We got a, a WrestleMania and Royal Rumble, a, pin, a pinball and a fighting wrestling game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just waiting on the parts to come in because when we moved, that they got dirty. I gotta put new buttons yeah, and yeah, shit. But yeah. bro, I got the old. School ones in the garage. Yeah, old school dog. shit is yeah. dope, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm probably getting Nintendo 64 soon. Uh, uh, you know yeah. I feel uh, like I feel like the original Super Nintendo was cool, but at Nintendo 64 you could do more shit, bro. Like you I, got the joystick. That's the first time you had a joystick and yeah. shit. You could really do your thing on that. Yeah, dog, those so, the games were fire back, and it was fun to play. But I used to be an arcade fanatic. That was probably why I don't play anymore, dog. To be <laughs> honest. Uh, hey, you got a? Uh, how about favorite um, R&B singer? Favorite R&B singer, bro. Um. 
any any time. Yeah, Mary any J. time. Flies, bro. Oh fucking yeah, fire, dude. Like, you know, you know what's crazy? She's in some some people's tops, and then some people, like dog. We had I forgot who the homie was on the show, and he's like, yeah, I know, I'm gonna get fucking people are gonna talk shit to me for this, and he's like. Mary J. Blige is not good. Uh, dude, it oh, was just nah, funny. He that. started a whole conversation. <laughs> uh-huh. Everybody was mad at him, bro. Nah, like, I don't know. Because you got to understand, like... People got mad time, at him. At that time, Mary J. Blige, bro, when she was blowing up, oh, like, yeah. her, like, if you really hear her shits, like, that shit will make you fucking sick. If you're going through something, you put on some Mary J., you will fucking cry, well, bro. That shit will Well, and that's the thing with her is she really was going through shit, and it conveyed, yeah. and that's part and of the artistry. Passion was there. Yeah. She did that shit with Met the Man. She yeah. did that shit with Biggie. I'm yeah, like, she did, she did wow. well with the collabs with the hip-hop. Bro, collabs, she's, on, she's on some shit. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm taking out this time. Oh, the all-time remix. Mm-hmm. That Jay-Z shit. Uh, who was it? Smith and, the, the Smith and Wesson. Smith and, Wes- Smith and Wesson remix of her, I think it was Happy. One of her songs, I, I don't know if it was Happy for sure, don't quote me. I think it was. Yeah. They did a remix with Smith & Wesson. Dog, yeah, that's still one of my all-time yeah, favorite, yeah, like, yeah, street bang. Look that shit up, man. Jeez, that shit's dope, hard, bro. dog, if you haven't heard it, dog. I'm going to check that shit yeah, out. Yeah, that shit's hard. Man, I, I actually saw her start today. We was in Hollywood today trying to, you know, find some. We went to um, Amoeba Record Store. Oh, right, that's what it's yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah Amoeba, yeah. That's Classic shit. Bro, I found some fucking vinyls. I saw the original. Um, It was a promotional vinyl. For when Biggie and Craig Mac was, they were trying to promote them, and it said Big Mac, and then it came with. Oh, the tape. I remember that they yeah, had that. Thing? They had that. Oh. I was like, damn. Yeah, I, that was when they, uh, when when uh, Puffy was first creating yeah, Bad Boy, right? Big Mac, yeah, yeah. yeah and then oh. and I, I heard that in all in the documentary and right, shit, but, right, uh, right. And I but, saw it. Yeah. I was like, wow. I think but it then, had flavor in your ear on it, yeah, and something yeah. else. Yeah. So I, I, was, I was telling my boy, he was with me. I was like, look, this is what they did, right? They marketed the shit, and these are like the songs that they thought were gonna pop because at that time it was straight vinyl shit. Yeah. So he. He had his five. Craig Mack has his five. And look, this is what popped for Biggie. This is what didn't. And I'm like, he had um, me and my bitch as one as one of the songs that they thought was going to pop. I'm like, he wilded for that. Because it's the intro line alone. Oh, oh dude. Is that, I ain't going to lie. That's a fire song. I know that shit word for word, but I always skip that first that, fucking line. Is that the one where he said, I suck on your daddy? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So fine. Uh, you got to say the full bleep, line. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Yeah, you yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say the full line either. So fu- say the full uh, line. Uh, say the full line. Yeah, what, what did she say? When I met you, I admit He said, when I met you, I admit my first thoughts was a trick. You look so good, girl. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, I don't even want it. Yeah, no. yeah. You see, it made yeah. it made you uncomfortable right now. But the rest of the song is so fun. Nah, yeah. yeah. He has like ambulances. And you cops went there, huh? and no. gunshots, and I'm like, wow. That's one of them cases of maybe just a tad too far on the metaphoric right. uh, like, yeah. uh, excellence. There. Like, like put it like put, put it on the album. Yeah. Like, I don't, you think that's gonna pop, bro? Yeah. Like, yo, I, I was like, I was, I was telling him, I was like, yo, Biggie wilding for that one. Yeah, like, yeah, who yeah. was in charge? They wilding, but that's a good song. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, it's good. Nah, but the song's hard, there's specific songs that you got to put out to promote yeah because you, you got to reach a lot of you know different ones but i'm pretty sure biggie was like oh fuck that i don't care that's what it is fuck it for him you know what like for craig man i think it was flavoring year that got him but oh but i think it ended up being uh juicy or one of those that uh finally got biggie like because yeah. he, yeah, he, yeah. he he really sold that off the, the way that went real mainstream he, he, he really like, got yeah, the, the west one. coast on that one oh, when they real? when they did it because of the remix of the, the, the sample yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you guys like them the sample yeah nice tunes, yeah man, and that. he was smart for that because they they the west coast embraced that hell shit. yeah yeah hell yeah hey uh okay who um before we end this shit man and i want to thank you for coming again but um, who, who's your favorite Brooklyn MC then? That, Bro, it's got to be Biggie. I feel okay. like I feel like because there's a. I mean, that's one of them places where they got a lot I in love the top. Biggie, bro. Like, like but when Biggie died, like my sister ten years older than me, like my sister cried, bro. That shit, like I think I cried, bro. I was probably like five, four, you know. But that shit broke my heart. I'm like, wow, dude. Like we was just hearing. What do you yeah. mean he's dead? Like what? When Tupac died, you know we cried too. We I, cried too. You know. I ain't gonna lie, but all that uh, around that time, I mean, I didn't. I don't think I. Like physically or literally cry, but I felt like dog. I felt like I knew them. Like an emptiness. You yeah, feel me? Like, I wow, felt like dude, I knew like, them. Like you knew you lost something special. Yeah. You feel me? And I feel like I don't know, bro. Like yeah, there's a lot of artists in Brooklyn doing their thing, and they're big and they're blowing up, and they're fucking millionaires, and they're nice, and there's people starting right now that are crazy. But I grew up there too. You feel me? And I know the Biggie catalog. I know the East Coast hip hop. I know all that shit. Mob Deep, everything. Like, look, we just flipped the Quiet Storm sample with an artist that was on Death Row. You feel me? That's that's crazy. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Like, I don't know, bro. I like I like paying homage a lot. You feel me? So, and I'm like, you know what? Biggie is from Brooklyn, and he was out here, and he's like, you know what? I need to get recognized more, like, further out. Where could I go? Where do you go? 
He came out to Cali. So I'm like, you know what? That's what I'm going to do, bro. Fuck it. I'm going to follow his footsteps. I'm going to come out to Cali. I'm going to see how I do it. Nice. Because I know Cali separated into regions and it's different. I'm going to see where my sound fits. And I'm finding it. You feel me? So I'm like, yeah, yeah let's do this shit with Bella. Let's That's got to be a good feeling. Hell man. yeah. Hell yeah. Man. Hey, you're finding it not a, like it's finding yourself musically and knowing right. which. Are you a sports fan? I forgot to ask you. I wanted to ask you. Are, are you into yeah, sports? Yeah, I, I fuck with basketball. Like, basketball. I love Who's basketball, your team, bro? I, I like the Knicks. You feel the me? Knicks? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, so you're not on the Nets? Um, I was talking about this the other day. Well, you see, the Nets were originally from New Jersey. They Jersey, right? Yeah. But That's who right. bought the Nets? Who bought a part of the Nets? Jigga, that made a big J- fucking Jay Z. Hey, like you know Jay-Z, what? Jigga, I was gonna say, I, I, I have. To, he edges out in my my top Brooklyn MC. Bro, Just, nah, I, yeah, I'm after fucking, Biggie's Jay Z, bro. Yeah. I know all them shits. That presidents one and two. Yeah. You feel me? I know. You know what? What's crazy? When he first came out, I wasn't uh like. It, it's a, the, actually the homie Drac who just showed up produces another show we do here. Dog. Yo, shout but, out to Drac. Yeah, man. but that uh, from him is where I got like that's when I started going through the the Jay Z catalog yeah, and yeah, then yeah. I was like, damn, bro, he's always saying he's on something. Some shit. Bro. And what I yeah. love about it is like, bro, he's he's really using big words and they man, they make sense. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Like he's really well, making sense. And not only that, bro, I just love the way he flips styles. Like. Yeah. Everybody sounds the same a lot. He flips different on yeah, songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. So I mean, obviously, his everybody's style evolves, and as you grow older, you go through different shit. Yeah. You get more experience. Your style is always gonna evolve. If you stay in the same shit, you ain't gonna go nowhere. I feel that's why a lot of like artists that were really big just didn't progress anymore because they still stuck on that. You always gotta innovate. You feel me? What was popping four years ago? I've been rapping. I was rapping four years ago. It's not the same thing that's popping now. Yeah. You feel me? So I gotta like try to recalibrate. You know what? Let's try to figure it out. Let me mix my style with that and let's see if it could work somehow. And then you're, you know, like you said, you're falling into now finding that that base yeah, that's gonna yeah, now they're yeah. gonna stick around and Hell go with yeah. you for the ride, man. That's bro, gotta I, feel I, dope. I, re- I recreated my own genre, bro. Who that's else right. is doing a song half English, half Spanish? That's right. You know what I mean? Like I'm doing. You got you guys, man. When you guys hear this shit, whoever you know is not familiar, make sure you guys go check out that music and all that stuff. And before we end, though, let them know uh, where they can get all the music and also your, your you know, your, all your social media handles. Yeah, man. man so they uh, need to they need to tap in if they ain't. So tap in if you can, man. Every single song I put out has a music video. I do this every month. We probably do two songs a month. Eventually the videos come out, but we got we got a lot of good stuff coming up. So if you're hearing this at a later time, definitely go check my shit out because by then the Yellow Hill song came out. Okay. I got other big features that I'm working on. You feel me? Slowly working on it, but it's coming out. You can find me at J Bliss. So my name is J Bliss, but instead of an I, I put an X. If you're going to find me on Spotify, find me on YouTube, any streaming service, put a J, put the space, and then put B-L-X-S-S, J space Bliss. But if you want Instagram, just put JBL like the speaker, put an X, S, S, and you go find me. Basically, put JBL, you're going to see my logo, bro. Man, uh, we'll see you back here too when you're back in town again, right? Yeah, for sure, yeah, bro. We'll come hey, and perform. But here's the other thing, man. I'm I'm fucking deaf. I keep saying this, but I'm definitely do, man. Now that things are you know getting back, and I'm getting back to work myself, I gotta travel more, and I definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta go to the BK, bro, man. Bro, come to Brooklyn. You yeah, good in Brooklyn, bro? That's I got what I'm you, saying, bro. We'll take care of you. Out I want to hit man. the food spots. I want to catch a show. I'm a you know, however, yeah. I'm gonna do something hip hop while I'm we there. We gonna do something, bro. We yeah. gonna do something. What, what's, what's been popular out there is like since the pandemic hit, like a lot of like underground parties you feel me like and it's like it's so old school bro. that's what like, they're doing over here too like, like backyard boogies and shit hell yeah, yeah. Hell crazy yeah. hey man thank you bro for coming thank and you. uh you know especially being in town and you know uh making sure you stop by our spot man because it's one man. of the hip-hop dojos around the around these parts man and i Yo. appreciate it jay bliss man make sure you guys follow him check out the music all that stuff you got more stuff coming he'll be back around this way sooner than later so uh once you guys tap in you'll 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 catch it man you'll see what's up thank you again uh you know my brother shay whitey um producer co-host right here for the rabbit season podcast and once again like i said we're gonna get back to you know we'll be dropping every week again thank you guys that have been patient with us man we'll see you next one peace peace everybody